Hello, sports fans. Me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with two more games from the Chicago White Sox Stratomatic pre play season that I've been working on uh, for the past several months now. Um, and today we have two games against the Baltimore Orioles for you. So we will. Uh, let me turn down the sound. So we will get those games for you. Let's see here. Um, there we go. So play day. Uh, we're going up against, it's going to be Cease against John Means in this game. And he is the computer, and I am the human. So let's see. Yeah, I think we're uh, I think we're ready to go. So two against Baltimore. This this should be you would think that this should be two wins, but well, there's a home run by Tim Anderson. It's a nice way to lead off, but you never know. We are doing better at the moment than the actual White Sox are doing. Because in real life, the actual White Sox are under 500. But it is still early in the actual season, so we'll see what happens with that. The Moncada is out, second out of the top of first. But we do have a run on Tim Anderson's homer. And I will swing away with Encarnacion, and he's going to get a catcher card, I guess. So, what happened there? I guess he dropped it in foul tear. I don't know. So, that's going to be a ground ball to short. And he's out. So, we go to the bottom of the first, and Austin Hayes is leading off, and he's going to rip a double off his seats. So, we jumped on Means with a homer, and uh, Hayes jumps on uh, Cease with a double. But then we get El Deberto to pop out to short, and now Santander's up, and he strikes out. Just missing a home run, by the way. And then Mancini is up. He rips a single now. I know Mancini isn't actually playing this season, but... At the time, I put the season together, and whoa, we got a Nunez three-run homer, and now all of a sudden, Baltimore's up 3-1. At the time, I put the season together, Mancini was on the Baltimore roster and was expected to play, but then he was diagnosed, I think, with a form of cancer, and um, went through the treatments for that, and obviously, even though the season started late, he is still not playing and shouldn't. So, that was the situation at the time. <clears throat> so, I'm going to stick with that. I mean, I can't keep changing things on the fly all the way through the season. And besides, it's already been too long. And I, you know, didn't think to make the change at the time. And there's a, oh my God, it's a triple by uh, Grant Dahl. But at the time, I did not think to make the change. Um, and so, we're just going to let it stand. And there's a two-run home run for Jimenez. And so now we are tied with Baltimore at three apiece. Now let's hope that they don't jump on us again for another three runs. I mean, that was a very bad inning, really, by, uh, uh, by Cease last inning. And now Mazzara, he's got a double of his own. In fact, we only have one out here, and uh, Luis uh, or uh, Lurie Garcia, and he's going to hit a single. Let's see if that scores the run. It doesn't. But Anderson, who's one for one, and he hits a ground ball to first base C, but that scores another run. So now we have a four to three lead, and Lewis Robert at the plate, and he's going to hit a two run home. So this has been a, quite the game for us. I um, mean, Means is. Uh, is uh, unusually bad here. In fact, he's tired right now. We tired him out with all those homers and doubles. 
So Moncada will now be batting against Brooks. I don't even know who Brooks is, but i um, sure he's a fine young gentleman. And we get a single off of him. And so now Moncada's at first with two down and and Canarcion popping out right between two possible hits. One of them could have been a home run. So, but anyway, we did get five that inning. So now we have a six to three lead. Let's see if that's enough to hang on and win this. Yep. Cisco is out, and that brings up Glacius with one down, and he grounds out to second base. And that brings up Rondon. And Rondon, who used to be on the White Sox, is out. And that brings up Abreu in the top of the third. With no outs, we're starting off, and he flies out off of Brooks. That brings up Grandall. Grandall is going to be out. And uh, Jimenez is going to hit a double. So that's nice. He's two for two with a homer and a double. I'll take it. Mazzara up. And Mazzara is going to double him home. Nice. I guess I will put in, I was going to say, I, I'm i not ready at, already at the point where I want to put in defensive replacements, but actually maybe I do now. And there's going to be a fly ball from third out by Lee Garcia. So with a 7-3 to lead, let me go and uh, make my defensive replacements. Um, Madrigal will go in at second. So where is, yeah, he'll go in at second for Garcia. And Engel will go in at right field for, um, for Mazzara. And also, I realize that um, Madrigal is out with an injury in real life, but of course, I'm not mirroring that at all. I'm not making any attempt to do that because the game has injuries built into it. So the only injury-related um, absences that will happen are the ones that the game actually generates. And now there is another home run by Santander this time. And so now it is seven to four, and that's a little too close for comfort. I'm not liking that at all. And Mancini is up at the plate, and he strikes out. So I don't know what we're going to do here. I mean, I'm, you know, it's not critical just yet, but I would like Cease to go at least another, you know, two innings. And with the way he's given up runs, I don't know that he'll be able to do that. Uh, there's a ground ball, shortstop, he's a one, and he's out, and then that brings up Moncada with two down, and he strikes out. So Nunez is up, he has one of the Orioles homers, and he's going to hit a fly ball to center, that's Robert out there, so he should play it. And there's an out. All right, so Cisco is up with two down here in the fourth. And he's going to hit a ground ball at Timmy. And he's out. So we got out of the inning there. Um, but we have got to be a little concerned that the uh, Orioles keep creeping closer. There's a fly ball by Encarnacion. We got a Brayu up. He strikes out, and that brings up Grandall. And Grandall flies out. So Iglesias is up, and he's going to fly out in the bot leading off the bottom of the fifth. So Cease is still holding us in it. Rondon is up, and he walks. We walked Rondon. 
Austin Hayes up with Rondon aboard. He strikes out. And that brings up Alberto. And he's going to fly out. So the Orioles go quickly there as well, except for Rondon walking. Jimenez, two for two on the day with a home run and maybe his second home run right there. And it is. And now I feel better about the defensive replacement decision because now it is 8-4. And that's going to be a fly out by Engel. And that brings up Madrigal. And Madrigal is going to fly out. So we go to the top of the seventh. But Timmy A up and he's walking. I'm going to try to steal with him. And he's safe. Nice. Lewis Robert up. And he strikes out, though. That brings up Santander. And he's going to, looks like he'll ground out. He, so the Orioles are up here in the top of the, or in the bottom of the sixth with one down and Mancini up. And Mancini just hits a home run and makes it 8 5. So this may be Cease's last inning. Nunez is up, and he is going to be out, thankfully, and barely. So with two down, we got Chris Davis at the plate, and he strikes out. So top of the seventh, it is eight to five. We will swing away with Moncada, and he singles. Now, if we can get a couple more runs here, I think I will consider keeping uh, CC in. And Canarcion is up at the plate, and he's going to hit a home run to run Jack. So I think that just bought Cease another inning on the mound. Brooks is tired, and a Brave is up. This is a nice offensive performance, but it's mainly coming because of the ballpark with the ballpark home run for uh, Camden Yards. And that brings up Grandall with one down, just one down for us, and he's going to hit a ground ball to short, which is Iglesias, who will probably make the play. And Jimenez, look at that. Jimenez, three for three with two home runs, and he walks. Keeps his perfect day intact, and Engel comes up behind him and hits a fly ball to center, and that's Austin Hayes, who may not be able to track that puppy down. Let's see. He couldn't get it, no. But Jimenez couldn't score either. And that brings up Madrigal, and they bring in Castro to pitch to Madrigal. I don't even know who that is either. Ground ball to second, and he's out. So... Uh, Cease pitching to Cisco here in the seventh to lead it off, and he'll hit a ground ball at Tim Anderson. He makes the play. Iglesias is up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Ron Doan. And no, they pinch hit for Ron Doan with, with uh, Stevie Wilkerson, and he's going to be out. So Cease did the job, and now he's tired, but that's fine. I, I will replace him. Tim Anderson leading off here in the eighth, and he hits a ground ball at second. He's out. Lewis Roberts up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Moncada. And he is going to fly out. And we're going to go get somebody else to pitch. I guess I will put in C-Shack. He's been having it rough in real life and actually for us as well. But we'll see what he can do with Austin Hayes. He gets him to ground out to shortstop. Nice. 
Bottom of the eighth here. Eldeberto, hands are Eldeberto. And that brings up Santander with two down, and he's going to strike out. So we're going to the top of the ninth. Got the lead. We're in control. And Canarcion with a single. Brings up a Abreu. And Abreu is going to strike out. That brings up Grandall. And Grandall is going to fly out to the wall. Pretty much. And Jimenez, three for three, and he's going to be, this is an incredible day for Jimenez. Four for four with three home runs. And that brings up Engel. And Engel strikes out. So we go to the uh, bottom of the ninth where nobody could blow this one. And Ciszek gets Mancini to lead off with a ground out. Nunez is up. He strikes out. And that brings up Chris Davis. And Chris Davis is going to fly out. And uh, that's going to do it. We're going to win game one here big time. And there's the box score. You can see Cease went seven, allowed five earned runs, but still going to get the win. And Ciszek pitched two and uh, did quite the job. So we're going to go to game two now. All right, sports fans, it's me again. I'm back with game two, and uh, we've got Cobb versus Fulmer in this game. I'm going to go with the lineups the way they are. And it's a day game, nice day game here in uh, Camden Yards. And we got another nice big leadoff hit by Timmy Anderson, just like he let off the other game with a homer. This time he's leading off with a double. Luis Robert is going to be hit by pitch and injured. Let's see how bad the injury is. So. Okay, he can stay in the game. Nice. Moncada up. And Moncada is going to hit a three-run homer. I'm loving this. We needed these two wins, too. And especially since it was against a team we should beat. Oh, well, all right. I don't want to get ahead of myself. We didn't win this one yet. But... We got another home run by Canarcion to help in that effort. So now it's 4 nothing. And that brings up Abreu. And he strikes out. He's the first out. We got four runs, and that's the first out. So Cobb is getting his butt handed to him by us, and I'm loving it. But that's a fly out to center, so that's the second out. And Jimenez is up. And he's going to hit a home run. Nice. This is unbelievably great. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Cobb is tired. I'll bet he is. It's it's 5 nothing, And we're not even out of the first. And they bring in Brooks again. They brought in Brooks in uh, game one. And he... I, I think the same thing happened. He was met with a single by the first guy he faced. Garcia's up, and Garcia with a single. So Brooks is probably, uh, I'm going to send the lead runner. Yeah, why not? And no, it didn't work. He got gunned. All right, got a little greedy there. But Austin Hayes is striking out to lead off the bottom of the first for the uh, Orioles. And Alberto, Hansa Alberto, is going to be lining out. And that brings up Santander. And Santander is also going to be out. So Fulmer gets him one, two, three. And we got Tim Anderson back at the top of the lineup again, and he flies out this time. So he's had two at-bats in two innings. He's one for two. Lewis Robert up. Got a little shaken up last time, but still remain in the game, and he's going to be out. And that brings up Moncada. And he's going to single. 
That brings up Encarnacion, who had a home run the last time up and is going to have another one. He's two for two with two home runs. And now we got a seven to nothing lead. And remember before when I said I didn't want to jinx myself and get ahead of myself? Well, I'm not getting ahead of myself. We're going to win this game. Abreu is up and he doubles. He's ripping a double. There's two outs, but let's see if we can knock him in. I would love to see that. It doesn't happen, though. So Mancini is up at the plate leading off for the Birds. He's out. So that's one down in the second for Baltimore. Nunez is up. He's going to hit a ground ball to second at Garcia. It gets past him, though, and that's a hit. Chris Davis is up. Chris Davis hits another ground ball at Garcia. Let's hope he plays this one. And he does. It's an out, but it moves Nunez to second for them. But Ruiz strikes out. So we go to the top of the third. Jimenez up. He's one for one with a homer, and he's going to fly out this time. That brings up Mazzara. Mazzara with a double, nice double. Man, we are just dragging this Orioles pitching staff all over Camden Yards. As it should be. Louis, uh, Louis, Louis Garcia gets hit by pitch. So this game, the birds are hitting our batters. They don't like it. They're taking exception. There's a ground ball C. That leaves us with two outs and runners at second and third with Robert up. And he walks. So the bases are going to be loaded for who? For Moncada, who's two for two with a jack, but he strikes out. So we're going to the bottom of the third. Iglesias strikes out. And brings up Severino. And Severino is out. Do they even have any hits yet? I don't even know. And Hayes is up, Boston Hayes, and he strikes out. All I know is Fulmer is dealing. And here's Encarnacion, two for two with two jacks. Can he do it again? He can. Hits a ground ball at second. Alberto gets him out, and Abreu's up. Abreu has a double. He's one for two with a double, but going to hit the uh, pop-out probably to the catcher. No, he got on. There was an error on the play by the catcher. So that brings up Grandall. And Grandall walks. There's two aboard with only one out for us. Here in the fourth inning, and Brooks is tired. That brings up Jimenez, who's one for two with a homer. But they bring in Fry to pitch. And that is going to be a ground ball shortstop, probably an out. And that's it. So we don't get a run there. But we're going to the bottom of the fourth with a big commanding lead and a ground ball for Alberto. Santander up. Santander is going to line out to first. And that brings up Mancini. And Mancini's hitting the fly to left. That's Jimenez. He might even actually even make the play. And he does. So we're going to the top of the fifth with a commanding seven to nothing lead. And Mazzara with a ground out. That brings up Garcia. Garcia with a strikeout. And that brings up Timmy A. And Timmy A is going to hit a fly to right. That's Santander over there trying to track it down and probably doing so. So... We're going to the bottom of the fifth, moving right along. After those seven runs, we've been quiet, but really, they've been quiet all game. In fact, what was that? In fact, Fulmer may have a no-hitter going. Off the top of my head, I don't remember, but there's a walk to Davis. Not a hit, though. And Ruiz is up, and there's a ground. There's a ball that gets past the catcher. Moves Davis to second, and Ruiz flies out. 
So that's two down. And Iglesias is up. And Iglesias pops out. So Fulmer continues to cruise along here. Lewis Robert is up in the top of the sixth, and he strikes out. Moncada's up. Moncada is ripping a triple. You gotta love that. Over Hayes's head. Hayes is gonna chase it around, kick it like one of those little kids. I'm gonna say no, don't send him. Only one out. We might get a run here in Encarnacion, and we do. He's gonna single the run home. Like what I see here. Abreu, two for three, and he's hitting the ground ball to shortstop. That's going to end the inning, probably. But we got another run, and so it is eight nothing. Severino is hitting a double, so that it, Fulmer was pitching the no hitter up until now. He's not now. Hayes is up, and that's going to be a line out. That brings up Alberto. Alberto with a single might knock the run in. It doesn't, though. So there's one out, and uh, and Santander unbelievably gets a single on a single one at three. Fulmer's tired, but I'm going to let him at least try to get out of this inning. There's a ground ball to first. That's a Brayu. And he takes it himself for the second out. Nunez is up, and he is going to fly out. So, Fulmer does get out of the inning. Allows only one run, which is not that bad. Um, Grandall is up. I'm going to let him swing away. He singles. Through an open infield. Jimenez is up, and he's going to get a catcher card. So, let's see if that... If Severino makes the play. He does. So Jimenez is on right now with one out and Mazzara up. And Mazzara is going to hit a fly ball. Although he is now two for four on the day. And Lurie Garcia is hitting a ground ball at Alberto at second. And that's it. But I am going to make the, since I have to make the change at pitcher pretty much. And that's going to be Ruiz again. I'm going to trust him, even though he is terrible and has been terrible every time I brought him in. We are going to uh, going to put Mad Madrigal at second. Jeez, I hate this when the computer gets like this. I'm going to put Madrigal at second and Angle in right. And uh, and Ruiz is pitching. So let's see what happens. He walks him. He walks Davis to lead off the uh, bottom of the seventh for the Orioles. Ruiz, not his brother, is going to hit a single. I, this guy is horrible. This always. Why does this always happen? How does he never get out? <coughs> there was a pass ball. All right, that's going to be a line out. So there's one down for the Orioles. Severino up. He, of course, hits a single and knocks in two runs. So it's 8-3, and Ruiz is, of course, tired. Oh, wait, no, he only knocked in one. So we're going to keep his tired butt out there. But now they do get another. So now they have three total. We still are winning 8-3. He walks another guy. This is incredible. I've never seen anything like this. In Strat, you usually, you would think you're going to get some outs somewhere. So that's the second out. And Mancini is up. And Mancini hits a grand slam. So it's 8-7. 5-6-7-8. Uh, is it 8-7? Yeah, it's 8-7 and Nunez is up. 
I am, you know what? I I am dedicated to getting Ruiz out of this inning. No. A single by Davis. This is really, really, really I've never I've never seen this. I've never seen a pitcher not be able to get out before he gives up eight runs. Like I mean like this is the second time this has happened. I I I don't understand it. They're winning now, nine to eight. And that's a fly ball to the left. And of course I have Jimenez out there and he's well, did he make the play? No, he didn't. So that there's a fly ball. Finally he's out. But it's something like eleven to eight now. So we've got uh, Tim Anderson up, and he singles. Givens is now in to pitch, which is not surprising. Going to try to steal with Anderson. He, uh, I'm still going to try to do it, and he does make it. So Lewis Robert is up. At least I avoid the double play. And there's a single. That might actually score another run for us, but I'm going to hold. I'm not going to try, and that's, that's a little too much for me. And then we've got a three-run homer by Boncada, so we might actually be back in this thing now. Givens is, all, is tired. And, uh, well, that was two runs there, so five, six, seven, eight, ten. And Canarcion hits a ground ball at second with the infield in. And the throw's wild and it's an error. And uh, yeah, so and Canarcion at second, Abreu up. And he doubles in, possibly doubles in. Yeah, doubles in a run, does he? Or is it a sin? No, well, he singles a run home. So we may actually be winning the game now. There's a walk for Grand Doll. There's still no outs while well, this is all going on with Klein out there now for Baltimore. And Jimenez up at the plate, and he walks. And Engel is at the plate. And he is going to single and knock in at least another run. So, yeah. Madrigal's up. And he doubles. So I'm confident right now we've come back to try to. Um, actually, ironically, this would give Ruiz the win, which he doesn't deserve. Um, I'm going to send the lead runner at 80%. I'm going to hold the trailing runner. And that brings up Timmy A, and he flies out. And Lewis Roberts up. And there's a ground ball to short. I'm going to hold the runner. And with two down, Moncada up. He's four for five with a homer. And that was a pass ball. And he strikes out. All right. Alberto is up. Let me see if I can check the box score. Because you can't. I'm going to leave Ruiz out there for the moment. And he allows a single to Alberto. I mean, now it's just, it, at this point, it's all experimentation. And there's a pop out to short, so he gets an out. He gets Santander out. Because I'm sure we're winning the game again by a good number of runs, a healthy number of runs. And then there's a fly ball by Mancini. Instead of the home run 1-15, to 15, it's going to be a fly ball. And that brings up Nunez. 
And Nunez hits the ball at short. That's Tim Anderson. And we got him. So, oh, it's the top of the ninth. All right. But we got a home run by Encarnacion, who just hit his third of the day. So he is five for six with three home runs. That's crazy. Abreu is three for five with a double. He's out, though, and that brings up Grandall with a walk. Jimenez is up. He's going to hit a fly to left. A fly ball to left. Wait a minute. Yeah, fly ball to left, and Mancini is probably going to kick that around. And now Klein is tired, and we have another run. Single by angle. I'm going to hold the runner just because I don't know what. But anyway, first base C. Does that score a run? It does. And now we finally are out of the inning. Our hitters have really benefited from playing these guys. Now I am going to make a pitching change because Louise pitched two innings. Oh, all right. I'm not home. Ruiz pitched two innings. Um, my God. I hate it when the when the computer gets a hair trigger like this. All right, so we're going to bring in Jay Spry. He's going to pitch to Davis. He strikes him out. That brings up Rio Ruiz, and he strikes out. And that brings up Iglesias, and he's going to ground out. So Pride comes in, clean inning. Let's look at this wild box score, though. Uh, or maybe not. All right. Well, anyway, um, I guess that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke signing off.